If you are new, if not, welcome. Welcome. So today I have this review of this um, unit that is on my head right now. It's from the brand Sapia. Um, I found it at my local beauty supply store, but you could definitely get it um, online. I am gonna leave the link below of where you can find this exact lace front. Um, but the style is in Yvonne, and then it's in a color number four. It's like this chocolatey brown type of color. Um, instead of just doing like a basic 1B. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep watching. What's up you guys? So let's just dive right up into it. So I'm just starting off with this basic wig cap and I'm just making sure that majority of my hair is covered as possible. And then because I did my makeup beforehand, I'm just going in with a cotton swab thing and this just has alcohol on it. And I'm just taking off the excess makeup around the perimeter of my head so here's the actual wig you guys I like it and it's pretty soft um, the construction it has four combs two on the sides one at the top and one in the back I don't really care for the one at the top though because I don't know I just don't find a purpose for it but you guys this lace on this wig I was not a fan of it it was kind of plasticky and it was really hard especially when I put it on my head it was not the business so I ended up putting on this wig, but then I realized like, oh crap, I forgot to add my powder to the lace. So I'm just going to go back in with my powder and add that on there. Even though it really didn't make a difference because this lace is so plasticky, my powder literally just slid right off, which was so weird. That never happened to me before. And I was just like, okay. So I ended up just putting it on the actual wig cap just to give it a little bit of a tint. Let me tell y'all something, this wig is definitely not big hair girl friendly. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty getting this thing on. Thank the Lord for the side combs so that it could actually attach to something or else I'm pretty sure this wig would have slid right off. So just be mindful of that on my big headed girls. <laughs> Then I'm just going to use the free spray method. This is the got to be free spray and you literally just spray it while the unit is on your head. This is so much easier you guys like if you wanted to do a lace install for dummies <laughs> literally this is the way to do it because it is so easy and it lasts like I would say about like three days when you do it this way but you guys so easy don't even worry about the bold hold and all that other stuff that's just too tedious and too stressful and then just using these little last scissors I'm gonna cut off the lace starting in the middle and then follow that hairline y'all this hairline was so weird it was kind of like I don't know it gave me like a little widow's peak but then it went up on the sides I don't know who created this hairline it was definitely very different um, I've also never seen anybody review this wig so I was just going out on a whim when I was in the beauty supply store and I was like let me just try it and see but um, after I cut it off I realized that that free spray had dried up white against the edges so I'm just taking alcohol on a little rag and I'm just going to finger comb through the hair to see how I like it before I actually customize it. I definitely think it looks better with the middle part and it didn't come with one. So I'm about to make one. Okay, now I'm just going in and I'm just tweezing like how I usually tweeze my units. And if you haven't seen how I usually tweeze my units, make sure you go watch my previous YouTube video. I'll leave the link down below. <laughs> Shameless plug. No, but for real guys, I'm just going to go in and thin out this hairline a little bit because it looks a little wiggy and you know, uh-uh, that's not okay. 
and I'm also going to add just a little bit of baby hairs to this bad boy. Nothing that's too crazy. This is literally how I made my middle part. I just followed the middle of my head. Now, unfortunately, with this unit, the lace does not go all the way back into a deep part, which I would have freaking preferred. But it stopped so soon, like, at the top of my head. So I'm just plucking at the part just to make it a little bit wider and to define it a little bit more. Then I'm going to take this little eyebrow cutter thing and I just like the way that it shears my baby hairs instead of using scissors um, that give it a really blunt cut. This kind of makes it look a little bit more natural or you can use shears if you have that but I was like oh this should definitely work because it's like a razor. Anyways blah 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 but yeah shearing off the hair um, and then going in I used my got to be the black one um, in order to lay down my baby hairs. I'm not gonna do too much baby hairs guys I literally just want a little little bit like barely nothing almost okay so now I'm just gonna rub my fingers through it just to make sure I get all the little tangles out y'all I'm so sorry I've been chewing this gum this entire video like I literally just forgot it was in my mouth and I'm just chomping away just rude I'm just playing around with the wig to be like, do I really like it in the middle or do I want it to the side? But nah, nah, nah. It looks way better on the side. I feel like it just gives me a nice little sexy summertime look. And then going in with my Studio Fix powder just to define that part a little bit more as well. Like I said, it's not as far back as I would prefer. I feel like that would make this wig look so much better. But it's whatever you make do with what you got when you got it. where my mom comes in all of my videos you guys but I'm just going in and I'm straightening the bangs y'all I didn't even test a piece of hair to see if this hair was gonna burn or not and it sure did shrivel up in the front a little bit which is why it's kind of bumped like that but it's really whatever I just suggest using a very 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 low temperature with this hair even though they say it's heat resistant fibers uh, it's shriveled up like a prune I'm just playing with the hair because I'm actually really digging this color you guys it's like this chocolatey brown and I don't know I'm starting to like colors that are not just generic 1B's I don't know times have changed I have changed <laughs> okay guys so now that this unit is on my head let's get into a little bit of the review of it so there was a couple um things that I didn't really like about the wig and it was mainly the lace part it was kind of plasticky it wasn't really easy to um, it wasn't easy to cut nor was it easy to install it was kind of different um, difficult but I like the color and the style of it and the curl pattern is really nice too it did have a little bit of tangling in the back but I mean I feel like that is with any unit that you first open kind of and especially if you manipulate it by doing like the plucking and customization of the baby hairs and stuff but yeah other than that it's not that bad I'll see how it lasts for the next couple of days um just to see if it even does good or not so this unit didn't come with a middle part it's actually just like a freedom one where you can create your own part if you wanted to but I just decided to make a middle part just because I feel like it frames my face a little bit better um, other than the lace feeling really plasticky um, probably just the tangling but I'm pretty sure that's just because I was tweezing it and stuff but other than that everything else I'm pretty okay with it's pretty soft uh, for it to be a synthetic unit and it's not that um, it's not shiny which is so good to me because some synthetic units that you get are really shiny and you have to 
um, like add the powder just to tone down the shine a little bit. But this one is actually doing pretty good. It's not that bad. I probably say this unit is about 18 inches. It kind of stops right below my armpits just a little bit. And the wave pattern is really pretty. I would not straighten this out. It did say it was heat resistant and um, it has heat friendly fibers. But because the curl pattern is nice, I wouldn't do it unless you were doing like to wand curl it in order to like rebump the curls or anything. But other than that, I would just leave it alone. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I upload another video. I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye!